This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. on my reefing fam march here this is frag box tv this is our studio 12 here at a high school in toronto that we donated to the school look check it out we're not in the store we are in science class and this sadly today this is a good video and a bad video good because look at this tank it's just doing freaking awesome off of you know i'm always surprised when i see it because we're using that we're using tap water and check it out everything looks great why is it a sad video because the tank is coming down uh it is summer break and the kids want to go and have fun and no one here is, to take, is going to take care of it. So I have come with my buckets and my trusty tools. We're going to drain it and bring it back to the shop and then we'll decide what we're going to do with it. So I thought we'd do one more video and kind of show you how it's doing. Um, when did we set this thing up? It's got to be what, six like months? December, December, November. And now we're June. December. So yeah, about six months. This fish finally doing well. We lost a few. I think... I may have been rushing stuff. Um, that's my theory. I'm not 100% sure, but he just looks great. What did the kids name him? Jamal. Jamal. What up, Jamal? Jamal's living here. Hey, any Jamals uh, watching the video, maybe comment below. We have a beautiful arrow crab. Check out the claws on him. I think this vibrant purple. They look like buddies. They're just hanging out. And the corals have done really well. The Kenya tree has exploded. There's another piece there in the back that I thought was going to die. It looks great. Some Dr. Fuzzy. And we also have some clove polyps uh, down here, some leather, our mushroom split. We're using the Reef Casa Beam LED. It's our inexpensive LED lighting option and more than enough to sustain these. There's no fancy features, dim, up, down, sunrise, sunset, any of those things. But if you're looking for just an inexpensive LED nano reef light, check it out. Proof's in the pudding. This is kind of surprising, actually. We didn't get almost any growth out of the green star polyp. After all this time, that is really, really strange. I would have expected this thing to basically take over this entire rock. The Xenia looks like it's about doubled in size. And oh, we have some Halloween hermits. Okay, so everything's doing great. How are we gonna take this thing back to the shop? I'm going to, hmm, I'm gonna drain about five gallons of water into here. So this is kind of a good video if you ever wanna move a tank. And I don't wanna disturb the corals from where they are, take them off the rock. So then I'm gonna grab the rocks exactly how they are throw them in the bucket, catch the fish, catch all the live stuff, throw them all in there. And then I want to keep the sand wet. So that's really important. We don't want to dry this out. There's so much good beneficial bacteria sitting in here and the bottom. And you never want to change the sand. If you're going to be moving your tank, try to keep it wet. This is easy because the thing is 12 gallons. You know, me and Lucy together, if we really wanted to, we could drain it to here and pick it up and throw it in the truck. But um, on bigger tanks, either go with bare bottom and add sand later but I, I should do a whole video on why but if you try and disrupt this there's so much detritus um, on older tanks and it's really that's where I see a lot of people have problems when you're moving a tank is trying to move the sand you're going to run into a headache so let me start by draining it I'm going to unplug all the uh, wires the ETO everything we got going on here and we'll get this thing moving this thing to comment on before I go ahead and turn the power off no algae very little algae we did start off with a pretty decent cleanup crew lots of astrea snails um, Halloween hermit, emerald crab, some other hermit crabs, but no cyano, no red cyano, no diatom, no nothing. The tank is just spotless. I'm going to set one of these up. We offer complete kits. You can check them out here at reefcasa.com. They come with everything you need in the box to set up one of these. It's a turnkey reef solution. It's kind of a sad moment. It's actually a very sad moment. Yeah, I don't like, I don't, it was so much fun setting it up, but I know. that's it. All good things come to an end. Drained about four gallons. Here's our anemone. Not too happy to be out of water. So I'm going to stick them just like that. And that's it. It's, gonna, it's like, kind of like a transplant. It's going to be very little stress on the animals. We have these guys out of water. Don't be worried if you're moving a tank. If they're out of water for a bit, you know, sometimes there's low tide. They will be fine. So this is really ideal. Small tanks. It's one of the benefits of a nano reef like this. It's just like if you ever got to move super super easy if you've ever had to move let's say a hundred gallon tank you'd imagine it's 10 times the volume not easy i don't recommend it when people are moving um, i usually just tell them man just sell it you can get it all again later it's not worth risking um like the lives of the animals i've seen so many people move and lose everything in the move so it's really really not worth it unless you know what you're doing you're 100 percent confident you have a lot of help a lot of time just yeah, that's usually my advice. I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but 
if it's a big tank these things really are not designed to move once you set them up that's basically it and i know i'm being very contradictory because i'm telling you this as i'm moving a tank but i'm just trying to say that this kind of smaller tank is the exception you just see as i'm talking how easy um what have we been recording now two minutes it's almost done a couple little frags i'm going to toss them in the bottom here and then we have left just a few more i'm going to use a net for the fish um, who are you oh hello hermit hermit another astria gonna go into our bucket this one here was just our ato which is going to come with us and you know what maybe we can grab jamal by hand hand caught fish come on jamal when it comes to back to frag box oh where you came from originally don't do like me use a net if you have one and that's it finally oh make sure you don't forget anything look we got another astria and i'm gonna leave just a little little bit of water here i'm gonna like keep draining and leave just a hair please see how we're gonna get the crab like this come here crabby oh my god he got really big he molted what it's once huge. At least once, if not more. Don't pinch me. Oh, he doesn't want to come. I promise you're going to a really nice place. You might even come home with me because you look so good. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Into the bucket carefully. That's it. I don't think there's anything live left in here. There might be some Nisarius snails in here, but I don't want to disturb the sand, so I'm just going to leave it and drain the rest. And that's our five minute move. It's really light, the tank. Start a siphon. And I'm gonna leave maybe that much. Just enough to keep it wet, and I can just toss it in my truck. It'll slosh around a bit, but that's it. In the back, we have the filter, but it'll get a cleaning when it goes back to the shop. It's all wrapped up. Everything that was in the tank is now in these buckets. We'll give this a nice clean and we'll wrap up this video and series. I hope you guys had fun. Um, hope you learned something. And if you got any questions about setting up a nano reef tank and maybe you want a clownfish like this, hit us up. It's nano reef, uh, nano reef, sorry. Uh, Reefcasa.com is where you can find them or you can email us at fragboxcorals at gmail.com. Bye for now.